Hey guys, what's up? Uh, last video I made a couple of minutes ago, actually. Um, well, I'm not sure which one I'm going to post first. Probably this one. Um, I was talking about fixing a dent in the fuel tank. Now I mentioned that I found some algae in the fuel tank on this thing. And algae is particularly nasty to deal with. There's a few different ways you can deal with it, um, but there's also quite a few different strains of algae. And it's not even really algae. What it is is microbial growth, and there is a difference. If you get to really looking into it, it's not really algae. So um, I'll show you here what we got in case you didn't watch the other video or I haven't posted it yet. This is some nastiness. And you see I've already scraped a bit out with a paint scraper there. Um, pretty bad not the worst I've seen um, actually this truck was still able to run and drive down the road it's just a little down on power and I thought it just needed the fuel filters changed <laughs> so um, first time I've actually had to deal with algae in one of my trucks so the way you deal with that one is to remove as much as you can mechanically and then treat it with a, a biocide or algicide or hello scooter uh, I tried some other things because I didn't want to go all the way to town and uh, they didn't work. I tried my uh, my Cajun Brown, that, that badass cleaner I use. It didn't touch it. Um, I tried some uh, Aluminum Bright, which is a, a an acid. It didn't touch it. It changed the color of it, but uh, didn't, didn't uh, kill it and didn't remove it. Then I tried... <laughs> Then I tried straight muriatic, muriatic acid. Had smoke boiling up out of the top of the tank. And it still didn't touch it. So, um, I, I actually, I poured it on this pump here. And as you can see, it cleaned, it cleaned almost all the rust off of the steel. And it cleaned the aluminum nice. But it didn't touch the slimy, slimy algae. It's just... It lightened up the color a bit, and that's it. So, um, what I did is I went to town, and, and, you know, people say you can also use, like, a, a little paint thinner or lacquer thinner. Well, kill it. Um, and they also say that gasoline will kill it. So, but I've read that there's some strains of algae that gasoline, I mean, it feeds on gasoline. So, you don't know what you're dealing with. It's best to just use the proper chemical treatment, and that would be these. Yeah, these are all stuff that I got at uh, my local Advance Auto Parts. I just ran in there, ran all the way to town at 7.20, and they close at 8. I just made it. Stuff is actually on sale right now. Uh, normally 30 bucks for this little bottle. It was like 22 and It's because I bought two. I got, or three. I got 50% off of one or something. Um, this is what kills the algae, okay? And this is what you need to help. Uh, pick up the algae, the leftovers, and deposit it into the fuel filters. Otherwise, it just stays in the tank. So, um, this disperses it, and it also keeps some of the water out so it doesn't come back. Um, you add this. I mean, there are directions, right? So, storage tanks control microbial growth, fuel, oil, gasoline, kerosene, slug dosage, intermittent metering, blah, blah, blah. 135 to a thousand parts per million so I've got about Just under 20 gallons of fuel there. I'll be putting in the truck uh, or back in the truck um, Usually if you've got a lot of algae you don't want to reuse the fuel, but uh, that fuel all came out crystal clear and clean So we're not worried about uh, particulate contamination and this will kill any algae that's both in the tank, in the entire fuel system, and in the fuel we put back in. So, um, I'm not worried about reusing the fuel. A lot of people don't reuse the fuel. In a lot of cases, you don't want to. In this case, it will be fine. Uh, so, what you want to do is, you look here, BioClean Diesel Biocide. The shock treatment ratio is 1 ounce to 20 gallons, okay? Um, parts per million in fuel is approximately 390. The maintenance dose to 55 gallons is 142. So, okay. Okay, I'm not worried about that. 
So if, uh, if the shock treatment is one ounce to 20 gallons, uh, 50 gallon tank, you're probably gonna wanna put, more, you don't wanna under treat, okay? That's a big, that's a big uh, part of this. You can't over treat, really. Um, the more of this you put, the worse your cetane is gonna be, especially if you store the diesel, but you definitely don't wanna under treat. If you under treat, you're just wasting your money because it's not gonna work. So if we got 50 gallons, let's say that would require two and a half ounces. I'm probably, I'm gonna put 20 gallons in. I'm probably gonna put four ounces in this because uh, I don't, I, I know, I, I wanna kill it. I wanna be sure it's dead. And um, I'm gonna put half of this. It says it treats 100 gallons. And um, there's no reason to, to over the dosage or go over the dosage of this. Um, and in fact, actually, I'm only putting 20 gallons in, so I'm not going to put half of this. I'll put a quarter of it. Yeah. Anyway, that uh, you want to put this stuff in. Put your both of these in the tank. If you got your tank empty, preferably get all the moisture out of it you can. Get all the uh, algae out you can by... Whatever method you can, steam cleaning or if you got a steam cleaner, pressure washer you can get in there with or a scraper, whatever. Um, and try to dry it. I mean, you don't have to get it dry, but it's certainly going to help because the, uh, the microbial growth starts in the water. If you leave water in there, well, I mean, that, uh, that power service stuff treats the microbes both in water and in the fuel, if you, especially if you got a separated layer, so it's not a huge deal, but uh, why leave the water if you can get it out? So, um, you want to put your stuff in first if you got an empty tank, then put your fuel in to help mix it, then crank the truck and run it. Let it run for a while. Uh, get the stuff all through the system, let it mix in the fuel, and... Uh, let it sit overnight you're gonna have to change your fuel filters a few times because as this stuff dies and breaks up in there and gets sucked uh, through the fuel system it's going to deposit it in your fuel filters there's nowhere else it can go um, in fact you may have to pull your pump and clean the screen a few times so it just depends on how much algae you have in your tank um, but this is this is not one of those things you can just clean the tank uh, or take the tank off and bring it and have it boiled out and, and be good, okay? If you put the tank back on and you put fresh fuel in it and you go to run in the truck again, all that uh, algae is still in your fuel system. And it's like, a, it's like an infection. If you have any anywhere and you clean it out over here, it's going to come back. So cause the, the, it'll still be in your fuel lines and it's going to come back and infect your brand new fuel. And before you know it, you're going to have algae in your tank again. So you have to treat it with the chemicals. Uh, diesel biocide. And uh, that should do it for you. Now, this is not a, a new topic by any means of the imagination. A lot of people have dealt with algae in military vehicle fuel systems because they sit, okay? A lot of them come from auction with algae in them. And for all I know, this one may have. I, this pump has never been out. In fact, I, I broke the seal on it taking it out. Um, so, I don't know. It's only been here and there, a little bit around and everywhere. I've, I've never even registered it, so I really haven't put it on the road too much. Uh, but, who knows. I put fresh fuel filters in it when I got it home, and now I'm going to have to do it again. So, um, keep an eye on your tanks, guys. Probably good to drain it every few years and just look and see. Um, now, my intention here was to clean rust particles off the bottom. I had no idea I was going to be looking at algae. Uh, but when you find it, there's, you can't avoid it. you got to deal with it. So, um, I think that's about all there is to tell you about this. I mean, if you have any more questions, uh, anything I didn't cover or forgot to mention that you might think is important, you know, go ahead and feel free to post it down in the comments below. Same with questions if you have any. I'll, I'll absolutely get back to you on this. Um, we appreciate you watching. We appreciate all your likes and your subscriptions and, and everything. And uh, you know, check out our sponsors, as always. I have to say that because they're so good to us. Uh, their information is all in the description box below the video. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Later.